All right. We're going to do our first uh, caffeine and cardboard playthrough. Uh, it's going to be a baseball highlights 2045. Connor's getting stuff around here. I'm going to give uh, the briefest of rules explanations. Um, basically, we're each going to start with these uh, these starter deck teams. I'm playing as Milwaukee. Connor, who are you? I'm playing as Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So, um, we have some differences in uh, in what our cards, our starting hands do, but but mainly they're going to be pretty similar. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to put all of our cards in the lineup spot, and then uh, we draw six cards off the top. Three, four, five, and six. And then uh, we just sort of go back and forth playing cards into this in play spot here. Uh, let me pick a different one. Um, and if it has any text in this uh, kind of yellow box right here, that's instantly uh, something that instantly takes place. And then, uh, yes, I'll be the home team. Uh, and then down here is what you are threatening. So in this case, uh, if I had runners on base, I'll just pretend that I do. Um, it says quick eye, wild pitch. All base runners advance one base if versus cyborgs. What that means is if Connor's last played card was a cyborg, it's actually a robot, I'd get to do this thing. Oh, look, it's suddenly a cyborg. So uh, wild pitch, all base runners advance one base. So I get to do this automatically. And then I'm threatening. I'm threatening two singles with an average speed base runner. Uh, the different colors in pawns are just for their speeds, and that has to do with how fast they move around the bases. Um, whites are slow. They only go one base to one base. Uh, blues are average. They also only go one base to one base, but if they are on second, they can score on a single. Are you familiar with, with, you know, any familiarity with baseball? So what I'm doing here is I'm threatening two singles, which means if Connor's next card doesn't do anything uh, to, to affect these two singles I'm threatening, I will hit them and score around them. And, and so we just kind of go back and forth. Some of our cards are more defensive. They'll say cancel all hits or something. In that case, these guys wouldn't have gotten on base. They would have gotten out. Um, or they might be more offensive, you know, threatening more base runners for him, but he lets my base runners go or something like that. Uh, we're not going to go too deep into it, uh, the rules explanation, because you'll hopefully get a, a feel for it as we go. What we're really trying to highlight with this is that I beat Connor a lot, and we wanted to get it on camera. <laughs> uh, sure. No, no, no. Um, this fits into our discussion about pace. Yes, from, what we're trying to highlight week. is that we consider this game to have such a brisk and fun pace. It made it onto each of our lists of top six, uh, you know, top six perfectly paced games and so so we want to show that off a little bit get a playthrough up on the channel um at the end of each mini game which is like six cards against each other back and forth um uh this symbol that you see here on these cards these uh whatever numbers inside the green circle that is kind of uh money that you get to go spend out here in the free agency market uh to add newer better players to your team for the next game so, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. One thing I really appreciate about baseball highlights is the way that um, the system the systems are integrated into each other. So, like the way that the money works with just the nature of playing cards. Like I don't have to keep track of money. Maybe yeah. it's a consideration for when I'm playing um, whatever cards I'm playing, but it's not it's not an extra element of the game, and it flows pretty smoothly. Into the deck building no, aspect. true. You're not having to think about. That. I mean, you you can you can you can factor it in. Oh, maybe I'll play that card instead of this card because it gives me more money at the end. But but it's yeah. adjacent to the primary mechanic. Yeah. A uh, little flavor text uh, for this game and the theme: American baseball was on its last legs as a spectator sport. Football had become the predominant national pastime. That is until the year 2032, the year baseball decided to revolutionize the game and regain the throne. Wow. And uh, it goes on. There, There is a lot of flavor text here. It goes on to tell you that the games were shortened to six innings, which I do not advocate for. Um, and that they brought in uh, cyborg, cyborgs with bionic arms. And, and then full, in 2041, we all remember that, robotic <laughs> players. 
Cyborgs um, before robots. Yeah, because cyborgs are still somewhat human. They just have the upgrades. And yeah, but that would seem harder to me to to integrate a roboticism <laughs> into a human body than to just have a robot. Well, I'm here to There's tell that you that robot that shoots threes. It's less than two years. In the or, well, sorry, less than ten years away, according to this game. Wow, cyborgs oh. are coming. Oh wow. <laughs> 20, what was it? 2032. Yeah, 2032. Wow. So there we go. All right, we'll draw our starting six. I'm still shuffling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One uh, grievance I have with this game is that I always win the first mini game against Rodney. This is more of a grievance I have with Rodney. <laughs> and uh, then he uh, proceeds to beat me in the next four games. Usually, usually, not always. But almost always. All right. Something we have the opportunity for here at the start is we can put someone in our on-deck circle. Uh, this is basically um, a card that you can swap out with one in your hand to play immediately. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a few different strategic tactical reasons why you'd want to do that. We're not going to go over them here. You'll, you'll see us do it. Yeah, so the one difference is with the on-deck circle is as the visiting team, I have the opportunity to place a card here at the start of the game um, and use it potentially at the end of Rodney's last action as the home player um, as what's called the visitor save. So to potentially prevent any uh, last last minute hit um, or a run that he might score. Mm -hmm. The visitor save. Well, visitor, you get to go first. Mm -hmm. this here and I am going to threaten an average single mm. I will play my own version of that same exact card oh okay so I'm scoring, or I'm 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 running, whoa, whoa, whoa. not scoring, not scoring. Sorry, not That's not a cheater. Not how baseball works. Not a cheater, even here. with cyborgs. And I will. You know what? I'll play a I'll play a defensive card. Why not? Oh. I will cancel all hits versus a natural. My card is a natural. Be. He cancels, so he's not threatening any hits. So I don't necessarily have to worry about that. To slow singles. Mm. This part of the game makes me think about rooting for the Detroit Tigers in the 2000s, mm. where they would often have very slow men on base, moving station to station. I will play the exact same card. Threaten two slow singles. Get my two singles, I guess I mm -hmm, should mention, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, cancel one hit. Ah, Ooh. Okay, so he goes. Got my one single, and I will threaten two average singles. Yikes! 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 I will. Cancel one hit if a base runner is on second and or third. So, so you'll is. cancel so one of I'm these guys. one of those hits. Okay. And I'm threatening an average, one average single. Okay. So the way that this is going to work is he's going to score. Correct. He's going to score. He's going to move. He's going to move. So we got one. And... Written a slow double. No defensive here. Okay. So my bases are loaded. And Whoa. I will change all hits to walks. All right. All right. I will threaten an average home run. 
<laughs> okay. Well, we keep the streak alive of you winning the first Save one. The I will. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't have any hits threatened. I had really mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm just threatening in every single, and so now Connor has this on deck card that he can play to maybe. Well, actually, first he gets first. his uh, grand salami. Is the Let's technical go. turn to get into five? So he could choose not to play that. You could say, "I will just leave this." For next game or, or something like that. Oh, I can. Uh-huh. I can just leave this right here. Yeah, because the way baseball works is if you're on deck, you stay there till the next game. <laughs> so, yeah, so I just, it's an old saying, never end the game on deck. Yeah, you've never heard that? Never heard that. Well, because I'm going to win this game, just based on maths, mm. um, I'm going to keep him there. Okay. I've never done that, but I like it. Well, then watch out for my team because we're going to score one single run. To not be blanked. That's right. Okay, so now what we do, uh, and I would have the opportunity to get rid of this guy, which I won't. I'll keep him there also. Uh, we can clear all this. Uh, Connor mm-hmm. can take his victory on the games one track. That's we right. can move our runs back down. We'll and flip now... Our, flip our tracks over to our, yeah. our sure, yeah. home and visitor. We have penance. all all this... Quiche sweet, sweet to purchase with. The way that uh, this works is if one of us has less cash than the other, they get to go first. If there's a tie, mm-hmm. then the person who lost the game, correct? I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think that's right. And um, they're using this cash to buy these cards. Their cost is listed in this mm-hmm. uh, red diamond. I have two, four, six, nine. Also nine. So it'll go to me. Proceed. Okay. And we will not be taking the five tool model, but you can take as much as you can afford. Um, yeah, I can buy multiple cards on a yeah. on a trip to the market. But the number of cards that I purchase uh, will require me to trash cards from my previous lineup that are going in the dungeon. Yeah, yeah, we'll kind of show a little bit of that mm-hmm. as as we go through it. Um, I'll take Mori Aparicio. For five. Mm. Dang. I screwed myself You've only got Trevor Wilson left, really. Uh, Which, if I had cancel all hits versus any player. That could be really good. Uh, Closer. It it doesn't make sense to not take it. So Flip over that four. Yep. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Let's go. (laughs) You've got to be kidding me. All right. He's a slow guy. Well, turtle bot, average runners, average only runners. two singles, so not not a horrible flip up for you. But yeah, as no Connor is selecting, good. I'll just show you real quick. These guys actually go on top of my lineup deck, so I know I'll have them in the next game. But to keep the the players kind of the same, I need to um, get rid of two that I just played with. They go out of the game entirely. Yeah, sure. I'll take, a little I'll take Nolan for five. Oh, bummer. Flip this guy. Get rid of this. Okay. These two cards. Oh. Uh, usually you would, you would kind of set them off over here. Yeah. But uh, our minor a little, little cramp for space. Yep, in your minor so leagues. So I've purchased Nolan Gooden and Turtlebot TR. You can see their stats there. And I. These go right on top, yeah? Mm-hmm. Hmm. We can't refill that for next time. One of the considerations you have to make too when trashing your cards is potentially how much money am I giving up for the next round? The cards tend to be, especially those starter cards, uh, the ones that give you like two money, probably don't do that well in the game. Uh, and, you know, the ones that have a, a better in-game action are, are probably not going to give you as much money. So mm-hmm. I'll be getting rid of these two cards here. Wow, I can't believe that's what you chose. Oh, dude, Miami's up 72-64. I know, they, they just... They've Celtics have scored one point in this quarter. 
Anyways, back to baseball. Back to baseball. <laughs> so, oh, these guys are, these guys are trash. America. Can I can't use him? I mean, he's my dugout player or my on deck player now, effectively. Yeah, but I could keep him there, even for the next forever visitor save potentially. You know what they say about on deck circles? Stay there forever until until you die. Until the end of time. <laughs> until you die. Okay, go ahead. I will simply threaten a slow double. You really don't even need to worry about it because he's slow. Super slow. I won't worry about it. And I will... Hmm. I'm gonna bust out, I'm gonna bust out the turtle bot that I just purchased and threaten two average singles. Not a cyborg, not a natural. Just all metal, baby. <laughs> I will uh, I'll get my uh, slow double and I'll threaten an average double. Ah, okay. So I'll get my two average singles. Threaten an average double. So in this scenario, he would still stay at third. Yeah, he's very slow. Super slow. Well, uh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Since it's a double, every base advance. He moves as many bases oh, okay. as. Okay. Yeah, so he would score on this. So since the, I will... since the hitter is moving two bases, right. the runner would move two bases. I was just I... telling America in their living rooms. Or oh. honestly, more likely toilets, let's be honest. Ooh. You don't think? Um, maybe. <laughs> I will cancel that double. And I'll threaten an average single. Got a lot of average guys on my team, but yeah. they're, they're doing pretty good for being an average. I'm bringing out uh, Maury Aparicio. Oh, baby. We, we really laugh at the uh, mashed up names. I don't necessarily... Oh, well, Maury Wills and Louis Aparicio. Oh. A couple of 1940s studs. Rodney's way maybe. more into baseball than I am. <laughs> um, so I won't be naming these players individually, except for maybe CeCe Clemens. You got that one. CeCe Sabathia, one. Roger Clemens. There you have it. There you have it. Um, okay, so double play, remove two base runners, no fast, but yours are Yo, not fast. Oh, so. that's tough. And I'm threatening a fast single, because I'm a fast boy. Because I'm a fast boy. <laughs> oh, but he goes. Nice. I get it. Like it. And I will threaten an average double. No cancels. Okay, so he only moves one because it's a single. I will cancel all hits versus a robot. Nice. And threaten an average single. Mm. So fast boys and just move one extra move base. Move an extra base. So on this single, if it were to happen, he would get all the way to third. First to third. All the way to third? Yep. Because he, he, anyone would get to second. Oh, he's getting to second. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. Um, well, tense, I'm gonna change. Moments. I'm gonna change all hits to walks. Golly, jeepers, Jiminy Christmas! And threaten an average double. Okay. Don't like that. I will. Use my quick eye versus a cyborg. <clears throat> All base runners advance one base. So that's my mm. quick action. Let's do score. And then I am threatening two average singles. Wow. Trying to okay. overwhelm you with offense. He's going. Got my double here. I am going to change all hits to walks. Okay, so he just fills first, and then they just move kind of uh, each station uh, to station. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, let's see. No, here. no hits threatened though. Yeah.
Okay. I'm going to, since this card has the pinch hit symbol on it, I am going to, um, gosh, this is dangerous. I, I discard him to bring out my on deck guy, which is cancel one hit, meaningless, but uh, threaten an average single. Mm, which would score you, what, two runs? Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah, you got me there. You're just threatening two slow singles. <clears throat> and you score your... Yeah. You'll score your two runs, but I will also score my two runs. Right. Meaning it's four to two. That's right. Okay, one to one. And hopefully you guys can see, right, that this is, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe you're watching, like, I don't know, it still moves like a deck builder, but... Uh, that that's a that's a mini game and it just feels i don't know it feels while we're playing it at least like it really really zooms i've got a uh, six to play with here mm. nine okay so i will be going first i kind of keep these okay rally it behind the double That guy just threatens a home run. He's worth three buying power. Ooh. Yeah. That 100 power. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a chance with Sprint 36. What was his power again? Uh, stolen base, I can advance all average and fast base runners one base. Mm. Or on base runner. And then I threaten a single and fast double. Wow. Oh, baby. Kobe. Jacoby Davis. Any threatened hit on this player becomes single if gloved. If gloved is, I'm not sure what that means. Well, glove is one of these, one of the actions. Yeah, okay, okay. Any threatened hits on this player become single if gloved. Oh, so this is kind of like a caveat because he's so powerful. Double, double, triple. So if someone plays a glove. Oh, that's really interesting. Wow. We haven't played with this yet. There's a fair amount going on there with yeah, that. Yeah, that's wacky. Okay, Weird so what do I have? Nine. Stuff. I've got nine. Listen to a playthrough of ours. You get a free, timely Johnny Carson impression. <laughs> Who might have died before I was born. I'm not sure. But I also like baseball, so I'm an old soul, clearly. Five. So, only at, so like most deck builders, I only have five here. We draw six, and mm -hmm. so I am. You just bought one. One card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Shuffle Town. I'll be home next time. That just alternates every time. Oh, yeah. No runs here. I will... Dude, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really like this Pioneer. Uh, Connor and I are going to play uh, best of five. So yeah. first, first yeah. to three. Yeah. And that's what's cool about this game, too. I mean, you, you could set up a tournament. You could set up... A season, maybe, if you really went crazy with it. I said 12-year-old Rodney would. would. Uh, I would just go nuts with this game. Um, if I had one other person to play with, like that's, I'd be playing this all summer long. Um, mm. It's a tough get. All but right. you can just choose. Hey, first, first, first one to win a mini game. We just got, you know, 10 minutes. Let's do that. Yeah. But to get the, the deck building into it, you probably want to play a, a few mini games. So, yep, first of three wins. We're, we're at one to one right now. Let's go for it. Okay. Four to one. I am the home team. So, you will go first. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Okay. Got Turtle Bot back in the game. He's, he's up to bat first. He's a pretty reliable guy. Yeah, I'd say so. Two average singles. I'm going to threaten a slow triple. Ooh. Let's put him right on third. Slow born on triple. third base and thought he hit a triple. I have no idea what that reference is. Is that a reference? That's just a saying. Was you never heard that? He's born on third base, thought he hit a triple. What does that it's mean? Like, it's like he... he oh, like he's, born he thinks into he's like better a, than he is. Yeah, like born into wealth yeah. or something and thinks that he earned it, but right. it was really Grandpa McGillicuddy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cancel that. We cancel that triple and threatening. An average single. Every single, you get those two. Well, I cannot wait to get Maury Aparicio back out here to do a double play. Oh, dude. And threaten... So those two guys are gone forever. Dang, I keep forgetting. Threatening a fast single. That's really tough. Threatening a fast single. I don't like the fast. It was a fun like... move. I, I did. So when you do an on deck, you get to draw your top card. And it was Maury. Oh, was good feeling. nice. That was mine. Um, I'm just going to cancel one hit and threaten none. I don't like the fast boys. I don't like them. Golly jeepers. That was a bummer and a half, dude. That sucked. Yeah, I'll just I'll I'll do it anyways. I was gonna do this to let him steal and advance a base, but now I'm just threatening. If you don't like fast boys, let's find out how much you don't, because I got a single and a double mm. coming your way. Oh, a fast single and a fast double. Yeah, so Damn. the single will score. He'll go first, and then he'll go all the way around on right. double. <laughs> that's that's crazy. That's wild. Um, ooh, I pinch hit with him. No, that's not how that works. I always confuse that. You can just use that card Trash to do him. the pinch hit. You can, yeah, you kind of yeah, yeah, send him yeah, to yeah. the dugout, etc. That's all right. Okay. So, oops, I will just be threatening an average single. Okay, so he gets a single, and then he gets a double and scores. Oops. And then... Um, is this the time to do it? Let me throw out two singles. Two slow singles. Hmm. So he's scoring for sure. No, oh, no. Nice. That's like it. Um, so clutch. Oh, unbelievable. Double. So you get the double right off the bat with uh, an average uh -huh. runner. Oh, thank so you. Those... Oh, it's immediate. Uh huh. That's right, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And now you're threatening an average single. Oh, that's right. Golly jeepers. Um, I'm going to need to... But you didn't mess with me, so... That's right. Oh, that's actually really good. So he'll score. He moves and he moves. So that gives me the lead, right? I'm up two to one. I thought you were already. Well, I was one. I had one. Oh. So now I'm up two to one. Yeah, yep. Which means I can get... Trevor Wilson out there to cancel hits if I'm ahead. Oh, dude. Oh, that's good. So he's canceled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, two to one. Oh, threaten a home run. Am I going to be really sad? I can't do anything. I will, um, I will also threaten a home run. <laughs> But you have that. I do. The visitor save. I don't remember what it is. You probably want to play it, though. Maybe. Maybe not. Pick off, remove one base runner. Oh, so that's huge. So first of all, you get your home run. Yeah. So you go one to four. Boop. And then you're picking off one of these guys. Uh-oh. You know what that means. Because I still get my home run. Extra innings. Oh, let's go. So, so the way this works is 
Um, I can check real quick, but I think we each draw three cards. Um, I'll, I'll make sure we know for sure. Uh, I think that's right. We each draw three cards, and it's it's almost like a um, at the end of a mini game. Oh, keep all base runners on baseball. We we didn't have any because we no we, we both okay. Right. Um, we both draw three cards from the lineup deck. Each player chooses one card and plays it face down. We reveal simultaneously and then um, place their batter pawns on home plate to represent their threatened hits. These cards are now evaluated in order as follows. The home team immediate action resolves first, then the visiting team's immediate action, and then both teams' uh, hit boxes. So, mm. okay. Home team's immediate action results first? Um... Yes. Okay. So I have mine. Three, two, one. Please be a robot. Yosh. Cancel all hits versus a robot. Okay. And I threaten a single. So I get uh, average single. Okay. So now no, nobody scored a run off that. So mm -hmm. we go again. So I get a wild pitch. All base runners advance one base if versus a cyborg. And then I'm getting two average singles. Man. So that was it, right? Because I'll score yeah, on that. Yeah. So I'll score on that. So dang, I didn't draw anything defensive except this. And so all I, I was sitting on two singles and a home run. So I figured if you couldn't cancel mine, that I should play the home run first. So unplayed cards go to the dugout, so those will not count oh. towards our uh, oh. Pick. Oh yeah, buying power. Buying power. I've got some good buying so power. So I've got my that second kind of win. My strategy. Connor is facing elimination. That's right, back against the wall. I'm going to discard him. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, seven. All those cards, I got seven. I've got 12. Yeah, I bet you do. Jacoby Davis looks pretty good right now. So how does this work? If I had him out and then you put a card out that threatens a hit. Yep. Well, what does if gloved mean? That means if I play a glove action against you. So you've threatened a triple. It's, yep. a, it's a triple. So you do like threatened. that. You do so that. I got, I'm, sh I'm looking for a glove. So if I play this against you... To cancel one hit, it does cancel it, but any of your threatened hits on that card would be singles. Any threatened hit on this player. Oh, so his triple becomes a single. His triple becomes so a single. So you basically can't It's cancel not canceling. Hits. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's pretty sick. That is pretty sick, and so is that. Yeah. Yeah, I could be in a tough way here. Um, With Jacoby I'm going to take Pioneer. And maybe waste one of my buying power, but I'll call it worth it. Okay. I'm going to flip this first because I could get two I'm guys. get rid of him. Huh? Or her. <laughs> or her. One. So I'll be away this time. Oh, yeah. Home team. Four. Five and six. And do I just go for Jacoby? That's pretty, that's pretty tough to beat. Even three singles. Three average singles. Three average singles, even if you glove it, and most of yeah. the cancel, most of the cancel hit. And we're at are the gloves. point of the game. I mean, if you lose one more time, we're done. So him not having any buying power is, means nothing. Yeah, you got you got to go go yeah. big, go big. Yeah, I do. 
So what's also cool, uh, Miguel McCutcheon. We can do that one. <laughs> That's funny. What's also cool here is uh, there's some strategy. I know he has that card. So I know he's got a crazy card in there. That's going to get him huge offense. And uh, I can just try to try to plan accordingly. Trashing this card. <laughs> Grandpa McGillicuddy. <laughs> you know the name. <laughs> Only from the booze. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I think so. Go ahead. I will threaten an average double. Oh, you did that so confidently. Mm -hmm. oh. Gotta save that, I think. Threaten an average double. Well... I'll do the same. Wow. Look at this. Aaron Neeson. Yeah. He just got up there. I will. So I get my average double and I'll threaten uh, two singles. Two slow boys. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna go. I will. Hmm, what would I do? Two slow guys, he's gonna score. Yeah. I'm gonna threaten an average single and not do anything. So he'll score. We'll go there. And um, I will do a slow double. Mm. So just just him scoring. Mm -hmm. He's going, and he's scoring. Mm -hmm. You don't have. Sorry, 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 sorry. Forgot to reset. Hmm. I think it makes the most sense to play this now. Jacoby Davis. Thread in oh, a little bump there, so our camera. I think it's, I think it's all good. good. Uh, Threading so three hits, two doubles, and one triple. So the battle average. score, and then your first double will score. That's right. And then your second double will score. Yikes. Uh, yeah, I guess I. I guess I have to deal with this. Got a glove. Oh. So they're all singles, right? Yep. So we got one. He's scoring. Sorry, I never in there. And then he'll score. Yeah. So he'll burn some first and second. That's right. Okay. Wow. So we've got three to one. That's that's something. That really is. What? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, and no hit threatened. Ooh. Uh, but. It's my turn. Oh. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Colby. So this is the only thing that. Uh, uh, I have to imagine that that's Rajay Davis. The Davis. Like, like. Yeah, I don't know who it is. Like Jacoby Ellsbury, obviously. Yeah, for but, sure. Like, 
Like I'm thinking of other fast guys, and that's really funny if Rajay Davis got a shout out in this game because uh, <laughs> career journeyman. Um, I. Oh man, I really don't want you to have multiple hits, but I don't know what you have left. I'm just gonna cancel your one, your single. That stinks. And threaten an average single. Oh, that stinks even more. Uh, you might have this one. I will play my rally bot, which gets a double right away. Mm -hmm. So with an average score, guy, and then nice, and then I'm threatening an average double. Right. But it's not. I don't think it can possibly be enough. So. So he, he's going. He's scoring. It's just an average single. It's a double. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to change all hits to walks and put oh, in an average double. My goodness. Yeah, you're going to have you're going to have this one. I, I got nothing I can do. I got two two slow singles. He's going to score a five. Oh, just a double. And no hits. I just change all hits to walks. Which did? Uh, well, no, that, that'll save you a run, I think. Yeah, so go. Yeah. So You'll just score twice. Yeah. And yeah, he would have scored on that second. Mm -hmm. uh, so five to four. Guys. Um, this is a big moment for me. This is the only this, time I've ever won a second game. Yeah, that couldn't. That wouldn't make <laughs> a second sense. mini game. So we're go, we're going to a, a game five, uh, a, a decisive game five. So let's see what we have here in the old money box. Five, six, seven again. Eight. Golly jeepers! Uh, yeah. Um, if I did be, we flip these? I'm visitor. Right. You will be yeah. visitor to finish this off. I think just on a hypothetical or maybe just on like a theoretical rather level, um, offense beats defense in this game nearly every time. Yeah, a lot of defensive cards are kind of only defensive, and so right. therefore it makes it feel like, uh, shoot, um, I stopped you a little, because that's usually what it is too, I stopped you a little. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't doesn't really matter. It's an interesting card. Get rid of here. Error. Gloves do not work on threatened hits, unless make natural check. Oh gosh. Well, that's a whole. <laughs> that's not even a real out. sentence. That's not. <laughs> that's not American English. Uh, rally cap expansion. Wow. I don't have. Okay, so I've got eight, which works out really well, because I could buy two cards. If we knew what that meant. If I, if I know what the heck Mike Cabrera does. Uh, He's an Oakland guy. That might, for the sake of finishing the video, I might <laughs> encourage you not to. Gloves do not work on threatened hits, unless make an actual check. Yeah, this is, uh... <laughs> this is that's, just, that's not even intuitive. How could I figure out what that means? Uh, the, you know, sometimes words can miss, but that's the wrong words to, yeah. to miss here. Okay, well, I'm still... I think I'm still going to buy both of them. And make me look up what a... And we'll what figure a, it out what, what a happens. make natural check We'll figure out what means. happens. <laughs> I'm using my phone to film this, so I can't really uh, go to BGA for you. Or, sorry, BGG. BGA, what a great website. That's a great website. I've got my phone. Somewhere. Yeah, it's not in uh, someone. <laughs> Andy, the Andy or someone printed out a, a bunch of good good stuff here, but it, it's not in there either. Baseball so I don't think it exists. <laughs> Make. Check. 
And I got rid of my guys, so I will draw. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do not work on threatened hits unless making oh, natural checks. So in the error action, I believe that the error does not happen if you draw the named player type. Oh, draw the named player type. So if you flip over, is that what it's saying? If you flip over a card? You, in a lot of games, a, a check or a test is to, so so I would flip over my next card. and if You wouldn't it's play it effectively. It's just kind no. of like a test system, like yeah. make a check. And if it's a natural, mm -hmm. then the error doesn't work. I still threaten the hit. Which it's is, just not. Yeah. Oh. Here's the card again. So you threaten your average single, you just don't get. Oh, it's just not an auto. Wait, error. Oh, so I just don't get the glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. Yeah, that's a weird way to say that, but. Mm hmm. Trash too. It's actually here. so not intuitive that it makes it sound like you could just make the natural check to avoid it it doesn't even you don't need to pass the check like actually, <laughs> just just make just it make just it. do it <laughs> if you just choose to do it just do the thing oh uh, okay getting rid of these two cards here so you're a visitor right that's right mm. And I have five runs. <laughs> that really doesn't feel right. <laughs> no, I have zero. Drawing four here. I think what works about this game is that, it, and it even says it, it's trying to um, really uh, simulate a baseball highlight reel. Yeah. You yeah, know? we're not playing a whole baseball game. That would be a bad game. Uh, listen. That would be a spreadsheet. No, and a half. it's called Stratomatic Baseball, and it was. <laughs> Is super that a board fun. game? Yeah, it's it's Stratomatic Baseball. It, How long did it take? Oh yeah, days. Oh yeah, it was cool. <laughs> it was cool for me oh, as yeah. a kid. It was. Yeah, that's funny. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put him here. Draw my next card. A lot of dice rolls where yeah. the player you had, you know, their stats, you know, maybe the the dice was kinder to them if mm -hmm. they were, you know, Mickey Mantle or something. But it used real stats from the previous year, so it was, it was, it was cool. Hmm. That is pretty cool, integrating all that. I threatened two average singles. Two average singles. hit and cancel all hits versus a robot oh that was a good move an average single. that was a really good move So even though I use my deck card, I can still do a visitor save with whatever's here. It might not be. I'm the visitor, so. So it doesn't uh, actually matter, but just <laughs> for, future. for future, for future reference. reference. Um, Jacoby Davis, he's back. He's wise. He's, he's coming at you. Um, that was not supposed to happen. That wasn't in the cards. Um, eh? Dude. Got any gloves? <sighs> you
You're pissed. Hey. Hey. You didn't stop me. <laughs> That's true. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, CC Clemens, for canceling all hits versus a natural. Oh, dude. Yo. She's a stud. She is a stud. Dang. And for threatening an average triple. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and cancel that. Yeah. Uh, tracks? How's about a... Nah. <laughs> How's about a... Slow triple? I still don't like that. <laughs> still don't like it. But I will... Threaten an average single. I really want to try to glove it just to make natural check, but I'm not going to. Um, so, mm -hmm. score run. Guy on there. I will. Sorry. Uh, You're good. I will uh, go for a home run. Oh. Fast home run seems... Uh, Unnecessary? Yeah, but I guess it would just be like if you changed it to a walk, he would still be fast. Oh, there you go. So you've got one. You're about to get to three. Ideally. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. So he goes, thankfully. Um, I'm behind one zero, so I'm going to single. Mm, slow, slow single, single. and I'm threatening slow a slow single. single. So I homer? Yeah. <laughs> this is the most tense game we've played of this. I'm glad we've got it on the playthrough. Uh, so it's three to zero. That's tough. I will cancel one hit. If base runner is on second and or third. So, so just him canceled. Uh-huh. This guy. Do an average single. Okay. Oh, I don't think this is going to work out for me. That's all right. I'm going to threaten an average home run. And I need it to go through to tie. It is going to work out for you. It is? I think. Oh, man. Well, we'll see what that card is. Or, right. Or whatever. I, I'm not going to be able to do anything about that. I get my single. So we're going to go to extra innings? Probably. Um, hopefully. <laughs> not a cyborg, so this doesn't yeah. go into effect, but I have two average singles I'm threatening. Okay. So this is going to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Clutch I home have run. no idea what this is. <laughs> you could also flip that. if you, you can check what that is. You can check what that is, and if you don't want it, I you, can? Can, you can flip. Yeah, but you can always check your on-deck card. Oh. Because, you know, the old saying about on deck is, you know, you can always see an on deck hitter. That's what my grandma always taught me. <laughs> grandma McGill. <Okay>. That's right. <laughs> I really like that I chose that one. Change all hits to walks. Oh, wow. Whoa, so my, my winning run stranded now. However. Oh, they the stayed. The <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, I chose it. I, I because you're going to lose if that's not a cancel because... Oh, if it's not a pick a second, off, if it's and, and, not yeah. a... Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, So now we're on our top three. Oh, I only have two. Yeah. Do a little shuffly duffly. Hopefully I sent all my bad cards to the miners, I like to think. <laughs> These cards could do something for ASMR. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why home team immediate actions resolve first. Why wouldn't visiting team immediate actions resolve first? Yeah, I don't know. Strange. Um I bet they play tested it though. <laughs> nah. Okay, 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 okay. That's that's bad. Alright. Go ahead. 
ahead and flip it. Oh, you got two hits. That's well, it. I actually stole home. Oh, nice. On my... <laughs> Wait, how... how Advance all average and fast base runners one base was my instant action. Oh, I would have needed to... Oh, yeah, it just resolves. Yeah. Man, having those runners left over. Dude, that was a good game, though. Yeah, there we I, go. So I there you go. Baseball legit. highlights, 2045. Yeah, how, how did it feel different this time? Oh, it felt different, but, like, this last turn, I literally drew every card that I bought from my shuffle. Wow. And it feels impossible for me to have lost <laughs> when this is what I what I ended up but with. But I did not shamoke you. That's true. Say. Not at all. Not at all. And yeah, yeah. So uh, a, f uh, a two to three loss feels a lot better than a one to four loss. If you're watching this game and your takeaway is still that's just a deck builder, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. I maintain that it helps to like baseball. Connor brought up that I like baseball much more than he does, and he still really loves this game. I have enough of an interest in baseball, though, that this works. Like, part of it is, like... I think it works better if you like baseball. It might not yeah. be a mandatory... You certainly don't have to adore baseball. You have to adore baseball to know who Maury Wills and Louis Apparicio are if you're a 33-year-old man. Never, yeah, I've never heard of either of those guys. Oh, well, I mean, they're uh, just great baseball players from the 50s. I don't know. I bet they Golden are. Golden era of, of baseball, some say. That so? <laughs> As some say. Uh, those are mostly New York Yankee fans who say that. Mm. Um, there was like a stretch of 14 years where I think every MVP played for like a New York team or something. Yeah, like, gotta some, be. Something, something crazy like that. Gotta be. Well, thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully that's uh, you, yeah, it's baseball highlights. You know what they say about our, our, you know, our next game is is technically on deck. You know what they say about a game that's on deck is you can't play it if you don't move your cards and around and stuff. Thanks, guys. That's what they say. <laughs>